all of you for these last two days. Uh, I hope that you had a good gathering with your uh, fellowship and uh, the reasons for your meeting together have been accomplished. It's been a privilege to be with you. And I want to say thank you uh, to my esteemed uh, translator, Dr. Shaw. Thank you so much for being improving uh, my message. <laughs> Jeremiah. Uh, the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament 
is the second largest book in the whole Bible, Old or New Testament. You may know that the largest book in the Bible is the book of Psalms, and it has several writers. So uh, perhaps we could say that, that, that Jeremiah is the longest writer in the Bible. About 15 years ago, a publisher asked me if I would write a, a, a relatively brief commentary on the book of, of Jeremiah. And I agreed to do that. And uh, it was very important for me personally, not professionally, but personally, I have to spend a few years' time uh, hard at work thinking about the book, not just the well-known passages, but the whole book and all of its contents. And uh, I think that I understand at least somewhat more about what uh, God would say through His Word and as a result of spending that much time in close attention to uh, a book like Jeremiah. <laughs> 爱我讲就爱写一本关系伊这里做压力力的册 Jeremiah was in the public uh, eye, in public activities, probably from the time he was a teenager until he was ready for retirement. Uh, 40 or 50 years, so easily one of the longest public ministries of anyone in the Bible. Uh, Jeremiah has a younger uh, prophet who is a contemporary of his, a few years younger apparently, and that's Ezekiel. And so if you take Jeremiah and Ezekiel and put them side by side, you have a very large portion of the Old Testament uh, devoted to uh, the period of the exile and uh, dealing with common concerns, uh, both in Jeremiah and Ezekiel together. Uh,这两个人,一些个,我们去做分析。所以,将压力比较一些个,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个人,这两个
的历史，就是耶稣过完了啊，安尼三百年后啊，当时的啊基督徒咧啊，讲讲咱做基做基督徒啊，无论去到什么所在，啊，伫什么所在，啊，住伫什么所在，拢是哪阵就是出外人，啊，佮烧香时阵。唔嘛是出外人，各是啊，伫迄个所在见经啊，属迄个所在的人。Think about that with me, if you will, just for a moment.、Uh, this writer went on to say, and the writing is anonymous. We don't know the name of the early Christian who wrote this. He said that、uh, the, the Christian people are not of one race. They're not of one language. They're not of one people. And so,、uh, wherever they are. They are nevertheless related to other Christian people, and they try to do good things in that community. <coughs> they are strangers because their final home and their final commitments are with God in heaven. But they are also、uh, at home wherever they are because God is at work there, and therefore they take root in any culture and in any language with any people. <laughs> 迄、那个作者啊，咱差不多讲啊，无名啊，唔唔知伊个名是倒，因为啊啊，即伊即个啊，着人所咧讲，讲基督徒是包括无同款个种族个人，讲无同款个话啊，总是因大家拢是献身是一个啊，诶，上帝啊，相像信仰个内面，因知啊啊，上帝啊，伊。啊，因为因为上帝交代因的工作，所以应该无论伫什么所在，虽然是青云啊，做一个出外人，要求来伊知影上帝也伫迄个所在伫做工，所以因也是伫迄个所在，也伊也是因也是伫迄个所在。Jeremiah, of course, is an Old Testament prophet, but as we begin our conversations, I think you will see. That his his message、uh, is very consistent with this early Christian statement, because he will、uh, say to his audience, "You must be prepared to live outside the promised land. You must be prepared not only to be a stranger there, but also to be at home outside the promised land, because God will send you there, and in good time, God will send you back. But wherever you are, you must learn to be at home." Ah, that's a very big point. 来，面就去啊，诶，诶，这个车啊啊，刚拄只咱他该讲这个人，伊讲话有迄落，迄落啊，做烧香的的所在啊，上帝安尼有车，就先知啊，到啊，这个诶，新的这个，那样受了有同款的所在，啊，佫英文，伊要佫倒转来啊，因的本地啊，所以。无论是啊做一个出外人、青云所在，还是倒转来伫家己的本地，拢都爱尽上帝交代，伊伊迄个时间所爱做的工。So、uh, four categories for us to think about Jeremiah.、Uh, he is often depicted、uh, in painting and in description, both written and oral. As someone who、uh, weeps because of the, the the failures and the pain of his people, and as I will show you in some artwork, that's that, that's often true. So he's a weeping prophet. He's also a prophet of the exile.、Uh, more about that in a moment. He's often was persecuted in his life,、uh, and he's also the prophet who announced this coming new covenant that was so important for early Christians. Ah.、Uh, 啊，这个亚利米有四项的特色，这做成真理。好，一个就是，伊拢不是让人家描写讲伊是一个乞巧，啊，不是一个靠的一个真理。啊，伊的安尼为着啊，伊的百姓啊，未愿离开上帝，啊，伊的心的艰苦，迄款啊，伤心的的这个样子。真理，第二项，伊是一个受累的人。啊，叫人去啊，关掉伊外面的的一个人，啊，就是也是不是，袂当讲是受迫害者，迫害的先知，啊，这以后伊要搁搁讲较清楚。
过来，伊也就是迄、那个啊，第讲起上帝要甲伊个百姓立新的约啊，新约的圣地。So、uh, let me say a few things about him as the prophet of the exile, because that helps us understand his context and his culture. And then、uh, I'll say a few things about the persecution, the new covenant, and weeping. And then I want to talk to you about this painting. Some of you may know this.、Uh, this is Rembrandt, the very famous、uh, Dutch、uh, artist. One of his、uh, early paintings, and,、uh, and one of his most famous. He did this in his twenties,、uh, age twenties, about fifteen.、Uh, excuse me, about sixteen twenty-nine.、Uh, and this is his depiction of, of, of Jeremiah. But first, the exile. Oh, da, you get on to this one. Ah, to this one, show quite a lot. Ah, is ah, so show there to the country is this one. Ah, the other is a stone. Ah, this stone is this one. The one who is the Rembrandt. Ah, ah, the Rembrandt. Young man, this is the one. Ah, the time is about to be ah, so it will be. You know it's about the time when Dutch were in Taiwan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So just a comment. Thank you. You didn't say that. I said. I'm glad you said it because he knows and I do not. That's important. Thank you. What I want to say is that the Korean people in Taiwan are very kind. Ah, from this day, you have to be kind to them. So this morning, friends, when we talked about、uh, Jonah, remember God sent Jonah with some bad news to Nineveh, with the purpose that if they heard, God would be gracious if they turned and, and repented.、Uh, God will then send Jeremiah at a later point to his own people, to the covenant people, God's chosen people, with a similar message to say. That they have failed in their covenant responsibilities, and if changes do not take place, then judgment in the historical process will come to them. That, then, then you can do. Then, 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 you can do. 啊，下坡这个圣地，有关系，上帝车这个要做啊，亚利米啊去到，迄个伊就甲上妖花有入约的百姓，总是受了伫国外，才会讲讲讲，妖花有关系对恁因这妖花，恁呐回头啊反悔，妖花入约结果到伫恁，头一个是对外方。So, friends, there's some very hard things in the book of Jeremiah said to God's people,、uh, Israel and Judah. Very hard things, and we must、uh, read them carefully and understand them in their context. That、uh, it is possible for God's people to disobey and fail. Should I, should I ask for an amen? Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It, it is possible for God's people to fail. Ah, this is so. In this part of the Bible, we can understand how the people of God are to God's people. Ah, when we talk about the people of God, the people of God are very strong, 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 very strong. 啊，上帝有缘，你是讲上帝百姓有有，敢有这款可能通啊做失落，还是违反离开上帝的错误？你讲咱大家已经来应了，所以你们不在。Two different times, the Babylonians under the famous king named Nebuchadnezzar, hard to say in any language, Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, came in and surrounded Jerusalem, and the city surrendered. People were sent off into exile over into what is today Iraq and various places. Tens of thousands of people. And the second time that Nebuchadnezzar surrounded the city, we have the date. He destroyed it. 
burned down the temple, tore down the walls, killed many people, and uh, caused lots of heartache and trouble. That's the only authoritative source. 
so uh, even though there was not a completed Bible at his time, that's what it says there under his arm. There's another figure on here that you will not be able to see very well. It's right on the far left hand side, a small figure. It's the king. And his name is Zedekiah. And he's doing like this. Holding his eyes. Because we're told in the book of 2 Kings and in Jeremiah that Zedekiah did not listen to Jeremiah. And when the Babylonians have surrounded the city, he leaves by a secret way to try to escape because he had no courage. The Babylonians caught him outside of the city. They lined up in front of him his sons. They executed the sons one by one and then they pulled out his eyes. So the last thing that he'd ever see was the death of his children. How cruel that is. But Jeremiah who thinks it's cruel, says, but Zedekiah brought it on himself and on his people. How sad. You see it on his face. How sad. It's come to this with God's people. <laughs> 啊,咱知啊,叫聖經的記載,西地家,啊,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,你要,
人伤心的代志，但、嗯、无怪伊是这么是这么这么伤心，迄落爱，迄落啊做爱啊悲哀的人。So、uh, there are three、uh, topics right here for us to look at briefly. The first one is how Jeremiah depicted life in the Promised Land. The, the land that God had graciously given、uh, to the covenant people, and how it was that God would send them out for a while, and then God would graciously let them come back again. So we'll look at that passage in, for a moment. Then Israel and the temple, and then something about God's people in exile. If you have a, a Bible, take a look at chapter two, the first、uh, 13 verses of chapter two in the book of Jeremiah. 大致接翻伊安尼比喻，也是讲三点，要紧。后一、后一点就是讲啊，诶诶，这提起的，就是第是第二章后啊遐，第二讲啊，上帝怎样收束以色列这个啊应允的土地啊，上帝啊怎样啊，一个去祝福这个应允的所在啊，上帝的福音。啊，虽然伊落受掠，要阁带因倒转来来承受即款个应允个所土地个个所在。第二就是关个啊，一、这个圣殿啊，以色列人甲圣殿个关系啊。第三个部分啊，就是一、这个啊，上帝伊落受掠啊，伫国外即个上帝百姓个情。所以咱下当看到只后日第二章、第七章、过二十八章以下只个三段的要点。噶 ，If you look at that passage from chapter two, Jeremiah will say something that's fundamental. He will say that the land that God gave to the people of Israel was a gift. They didn't earn it. It was not that they deserved it. It was something that God gave them. Life is a gift, as we all know. Then he will say that the covenant relationship that God made、uh, between Himself and Israel—it's you know, not just about keeping commandments. It's like a marriage, wholehearted commitment. And he cri criticizes、uh, the people, saying, "You have、uh, lived badly in the land that is a gift, like pollution." And you have been、uh, disobedient. You have failed in your covenant relationship with God. Ah, 好，这部分就是啊，亚利米，你比如说讲，这个啊，以色列这个所，这个有，这个他定的所在啊，这是上帝所收束的，唔是因地，安尼得到，伊拉做安尼得到的，是上帝赐予的。啊，啊，这就是因为上帝甲咪利用啊，唔过上帝，即个上帝百姓，安尼无使用，啊，即、这个用是亲像迄个结婚的即个样做献身的款的用啊，伊即个百姓伊个生活啊，伊个也无好势，啊，无用，啊，这就是因。失去上帝所给予的这个样子，应允的所所在的这个理由，是安怎？因为在公共。And when Jeremiah gives this criticism、uh, to Israel, he nevertheless says to them, "Don't you realize that God is like a fountain or a stream of living water?" That word that Jesus used later on in the New Testament comes right from here. That, that God、uh, is like fresh water that just comes up as a gift. You don't have to turn the tap. You don't have to pay the water bill. It's just there.、Uh, and in His culture, with so much difficulty in, in securing water, it's a great statement about the sustaining power and compassion of God. Then, yeah, yeah, the be the music, song, the song, so it's an infinite thing. 啊，就提起讲上帝所收束，即个伊个伊恩典，就亲像迄个水泉的水，啊，甲迄个啊做啊江河的水，然后啊
啊，这安尼啊，那唔免人追钱，就大家拢摕得到，啊，佫真真啊啊，咱会当讲真上帝特别的特别的恩典，啊，上有有够遮尼遮尼好的这个啊恩典。迄个土地就是安尼，这是上帝的所修持。Friends, think with me for a moment what it's like in Jeremiah's time.、Uh, there are two large bodies of water near Jerusalem where he lives. One is the Mediterranean Sea, and the other is the Dead Sea. You cannot drink from either one. There are no rivers that run through there. The only thing that you can get is rainwater. And an occasional spring. So think again what Jeremiah says to Israel: God is like a fountain of living water. It runs. It's clean. It's pure. It's a gift. And that's his、uh, the context. Water that comes without charge, just because God provides it. Ah, 水泉啊，昔日的人，就亲像活命的水，江河伊的内心来流出。啊，若当时一个以色列一个地啊，伊诶迄个两边拢有水，总是拢袂淹的。一边是地中海，了一边就是西海，地海水。啊，伫即个咧中间，上帝怎样啊，修饰因活水的江河。吼，啊，甲即个水泉，啊，即咱会当想象，知影讲上帝恩典到遮尼大。So Jeremiah says that that Israel is like people who work very hard to dig holes in the ground, so hope the water will run into it. Call them cisterns, but it's hard because they crack and they you have to keep repairing them. That's what life is like if you try to save yourself and don't relate、uh, to the Lord. And Jeremiah says, "Think of the relationship, not just about rules, but about being closely tied to a fountain of living water." And then, ah, then the Yaribi, the Jesus' words, is that the Lord can take the water and take it to the water for them. He can take it to the river, to the swamp, or to the river, to the river, to the river. System 就是种个蓄水池，啊，不过因但愈滚，哦，爱蓄水池，滚愈愈侪破空，哦，啊，想讲水会流，会当跳水，不过迄水拢流掉，去刷落用农庄，啊，这就是啊，亚利比对当时个百姓个指责所在，无比瓦克摇花，啊，瓦克家己手所起个一个蓄水池破空个蓄水。Uh, all of you know what it's like to be thirsty, and what、uh, a gift it is to have、uh, good, clean, cool water to drink, or in some cultures, nice, good, clean, warm water to drink. How it restores the soul. In a moment, I want to tell you a story that I observed about what it's like to be without water, as a reminder of what it's like to try to live apart from 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 God who gives life. 啊，咱大家多多少少有迄落经验，就讲安尼吹打的这个经验。啊，吹打的时候，咱咱安怎样来渴望会当得到真好的水？是清凉的水，还是安尼为所在是真爱的这个烧的的的水？啊，无水通饮会艰苦。啊，甲怎样变变上帝恩典的这个水？唔滴啊，行家己的路啊，要找水。You will know the what's called in the Bible the the Dead Sea or the Salt Sea. About forty miles long,、uh, about fourteen miles to the east、uh, of Jerusalem, and it has about four times as much salt in it、uh, as the ocean. If you drink one glass of of water from the Dead Sea, nothing grows in it, just one glass. You have about a 50% chance of dying. That's what I call the Dead Sea. Ah, that's why Yerushalayim, the temple, ah, the Yerushalayim, the temple, is just 
，咱今仔所谓的西海，也是讲盐海，因为伫迄个西海的海水的内面，迄个盐的成分是普通的海水的四倍。啊，咱安尼也是，安尼啊，这个这个这个是，啊，唔只，伊讲咱也是，干那饮一个一杯迄个水啊，迄个做吼，就可能会变死嘛，无听到。哦，迄款，所以唔只叫做西海，哦，啊，即个西海是差不多四十英里的迄个长长度的的的所在。呃，呃 ，in August or in the summertime, it's very hot and dry around the Dead Sea. Uh, so I will tell you a story about being doing an archaeological project、uh, near there 30 years ago, and someone who got lost nearby without water. 啊，伊差不多三十年前，伊去啊做这个考考古的发掘的时阵，啊，伊啊，参与做一个人的中间，啊，有人啊，再去爬落去，哦，啊，无无水通饮，啊，所以变成讲，啊，迄个无水饮，啊，迄个艰苦，啊，这个故事。This will take me a moment, but I know my translator is up to it. He will get it all. Try. On the east side of the Dead Sea, it's about three thousand five hundred feet above sea level. You go down very steep, and you are about one thousand two hundred feet below sea level. A very sharp drop. In nineteen seventy nine. In August, when it's very hot, I stood on the edge of this plateau, and I had an assignment with a partner to walk down carefully and look for ruins from the past. Because on the other side, a few years earlier, they discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls, and so I was part of a team to try to see are there ruins and caves and so forth on this side, on the Jordanian side of the Dead Sea. Okay. 八月上盖热的这个时阵，就一千九百七十九年的八月，安尼伊去啊做这个发掘的这个这个工作。哎，在这个西海的东边啊，迄、那个山，迄、那个高地是差不多三一了，海阔三千五百尺宽，总是伫迄个西海的水面是海阔。一千两百尺下，啊，你就知影讲迄个环境的差遐尼济，啊，伊受交代的工作就是甲要甲伊同工去伫这个、这个像这个壁，哦，这个这里大这个山山片、山壁的中间，找看遐遐要有老什么款的，或者叫做古早留落来，即个即个古迹，还是了。分家伊个所在，因为较之前无外久，伊西海漂移变化，会亲像即款个表，会中间有发展着咱所谓个西海草本、西海草原个所在，即是 scroll 个所在。哦，所以伊个工作是漂移变个情况，伊个人捡无着。There were four teams, two by two, so eight people total. And we started at dawn on a very hot August morning, and we we're walking down. We knew that it would take us about seven or eight hours, so we carried with us all that we would need. So of course, I had to have a hat on.、Uh, I carried the water and、uh, notebooks and、uh, a package to carry, find pottery or, or other kinds of things from ancient times as evidence. A camera and so forth, and our plan was to meet down at the edge of the Dead Sea about four o'clock in the afternoon. Now remember, we're going two by two. It's very rugged. Not many people around, and you have to carry everything with you. So in the in this team, we're going to see. Ah, 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 we're going to see. <laughs> 啊，就因跩两个人，两个人做一队啦。哦，啊，迄个所在伊是足安尼啊，足红波的所在，所以
因都爱带因所需要的干，啊，含咪，爱对个山顶，要去到迄个死海的水面的所在，我经过七，迄个至少七点钟、七八点钟的时间才会到。所以，因来排起来就是头啊，啊，无就炸水，啊，甲因所需要一切，啊，当然哦，伊啊，迄个时阵我唔知讲伊原来要一个头，原来讲玩一波啊。他个家呢，在在休息啊，啊，伊行路中炸。One team of my friends,、uh, a young man named Mike, and、uh, I can say it now because he was my age at the time, an older man named Harold.、Uh, Harold was in his sixties, and、uh, Mike said to him as they were starting out,、uh, Harold, let me. Some of your、uh, burden, and I'll carry all of the water for both of us. You know what's coming next. And Harold said, "Okay, you can carry the water. Thank you very much." Ah, come on. Ah, this one guy, one, 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 我呢，甲你倒海水，吼、哦，啊，啊，这所需要水，我呢，甲你，甲你倒海啊。Now they were supposed to be following、uh, each other、uh, for security reasons, safety, but they got separated. That is to say,、uh, Mike and Harold got separated, and so for several hours, Harold had nothing to drink. It's I told you it was August, right? Uh, as they say in North Carolina, hot as blazes, and he had nothing to drink. So, at different times, we finally made it down through all the passes and so forth to the bottom,、uh, by the edge of the Dead Sea. There were three or four local people who said, "Look at these crazy strangers." So they were、uh, gathering behind us, and we were all very anxious about Harold. Mike had arrived. And Harold had not, and we knew he'd had no water for hours in the very dry heat. Ah, in that time, ah, when he was in the way, in the, in the, ah, in the, 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 in 啊，当因安尼，大家一直爬爬去爬到迄个死海的海边的时阵，哦，干那恁少年的头发老无够安尼，啊，所以因大家拢做烦恼，讲咱唔知要，咱唔知安怎，啊，就知影讲，那这么久的时间哦，啊，这个人拢无啉水安尼吼，啊，会会发生什么款的代？因到迄个水面的时阵，到迄个海边的时阵，好一寡本地的这个啊，游游了游迄个迄个。即係遊牧嘅嘅人吼，啊大家拢喺度住，即係外國人就係咧喺度住三百萬咧，吼啊啊，真奇怪咧嚟看。It makes me thirsty to tell the story. Excuse me. <笑><笑>我刚才讲到即即故事，我就知啦。<笑> Finally, we're standing there with a few local people, all anxious. This is before cell phones. There's no contact. You can't call anybody. We see Harold finally stumbling like this, coming out from、uh, the, the, the cleft of the rock, and we knew at least he was safe, even though he was moving very slowly. Ah, 终于大家底下的时阵，阿来听候哦。啊，他总讲阿咧天气是热热，加上咧过过咧倒来咧。啊，迄个啊，这是因因老早来来迄个做。表面化，啊，不过底下底下听完听完，哎，讲到最后看到讲，迄、那个老的安尼吼，安尼安尼安尼一步一步看看看看落来，才讲至少安尼吼，伊要活，要应答，要应答，啊，像个咧，也是安尼。Yes. So we all rushed to greet Harold. You will know what it's like, friends, when you are.、Uh, Worry, and it's you know I've got to take one more step, make one more effort, and you will sometimes 
Well, they say in English, grit your teeth, but you will sometimes make your face very hard like this. And Harold had made his face like this for several hours. And the saliva around his lips had dried up. And that meant then that his lips were sealed shut.
将个哪是即个划船个划水个即个水船，啊，即个水啊，对一款最大个迄个个重要到来。So please remember, friends,、uh, the next time you're reading、uh, the Gospel of John. And Jesus is talking to the Samaritan woman at the well. He talks to her about living water.、Uh, think of this、uh, passage in, in Jeremiah and its context, and know what God provides for His people. Then, that the point of the Bible, our Lord Jesus, the Jesus, when a young soul got in the same area, so a some a somebody a three G B, that a poor man come away with his son, and he take his son, he should get a warm air drink, a drink warm, and his son. 啊，咱会当安尼来想象，即个亚利米啊，所以提起讲，摇花啊，毋是划水，会划会水船会来。啊 ，So friends, our our next topic is how Jeremiah talked about the temple in chapter seven. If you'd like to look、uh, at that passage. 啊，各位，咱即边用，佮讲到亚利米论即个圣殿的代。You will remember. I, I hope that Solomon built the temple, and it was the central place of worship in Jerusalem for several hundred years. And the temple, of course, was understood as an intersection between heaven and earth, and as a, a, a sign of God's real presence among the people. But here is Jeremiah's hard word for his audience. He said to them, "You put too much emphasis. I'm, I'm interpreting, of course. You put too much emphasis on the temple. What's important is what the temple points to: God and His presence with us. Many people thought nothing can happen to us because God's temple is here, and God will protect the city and protect us simply because the temple is here." It's like Jeremiah's going uphill, but he says, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's not true. God does not have to protect the city and the temple if we continue to do things that displease Him." Ah, Yeremi, a conjugal halfway. Don't you think that the God of the temple, the temple, the temple, the temple, 啊，耶路撒冷，因为一只有圣殿，啊，只有上帝徛起的这个所在，明白？安尼就，你若安尼继续做唔对，互上帝无欢喜的时阵，这个一丝仔就用拢无。And so Jeremiah says two very important things in his book about the temple. The first one is that God is big enough as God. To give up the temple because of the people's disobedience, and God is also sovereign enough to get back the city and a temple at His good pleasure. So, when the temple thing is done, the Yahweh is important. So, the important thing is that Yahweh, the Lord, is bigger than the temple, more powerful, more great, and more powerful. 啊，比如讲讲有力，还是较较关联，伊关联到伊会放弃啊，这个圣殿啊，圣殿对妖花来讲无介遐尼伟大啊。不过，伫这个上帝的这个观点，犹原伫这圣殿受毁灭了，伊迄个观点，我那有力通够倒转来。So、uh, Jeremiah was、uh, mistreated by many people who were angry that he would say this about the temple, that that God would allow something to happen to it as judgment、uh, on them, and so、uh, this was very unpopular. 
I'll tell you this, friends, if you don't remember the story, if you go to chapter uh, 26, you will see where people seize Jeremiah and they have a discussion. Should we kill him or not? Uh, I would say that's a pretty serious reaction to a sermon, wouldn't you? To those who've been sent off 
into exile. They were now strangers there. He said, pray for the welfare of Babylon. Build houses, get married, and make your life. In good time, God can bring you back. But for now, pray for the welfare of this land and make a home. So first the people did not believe that God would let the historical circumstances come to the destruction of Jerusalem. But God did. And then many people were so depressed they didn't believe that God would be able to bring them back again. But Jeremiah said, yes, God could let the land go and the people go and the city go and God could get them all back again when he was ready. So 
，啊啊，这个用这个台湾话吼，真歹翻译，迄迄乌的爱安怎的吼，迄迄个家庭式的吼，我到即摆就是足足足好个，迄个翻译个方法，恁人有教过？啊，伊是比较好，是乌的来，对啦，啊，但但开个 sentence， there's no direct translation， so if they find a good translation， tell me。Right. I'm sure your translation is better than my English, I'm sure. Uh, friends, I have two examples up here of uh, the artwork of a, a, a Russian Jew. His name is Mark Shadal. Many of you will know that name. Uh, Shadal. And uh, Jeremiah is one of his favorite subjects. And so uh, here he has it at the top there, you know, illustrating you know, his, uh, his oneness with the people and, and their distress. Even though he's criticized them, they're still his and he loves them. So you can see him, as it were, wiping the tear uh, away from his eye. Down below, you can see where he's been bound. One of the stories is that uh, Jeremiah was thrown into a dry cistern and nearly died. And uh, so you can see here, this is what happens sometimes uh, to prophets and to people in ministry. Uh,
But I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It won't be like the covenant that I made in the past. That will be the covenant in Mount Sinai. That covenant which the people broke. Even though I took them by the hand. Think of that matter. I took them by the hand to bring them out. This is the covenant that I will make. I'll put my law, instruction, right here in the heart. And I'll write it on their heart. I'll be their God and they shall be my people. <coughs> no longer shall each one teach his neighbor or teach his brother, saying, Know the Lord! They shall all know the Lord. From the least to the greatest. I will forgive their iniquities and their sin I will remember no more. I think in particular, it's this last uh, sentence uh, where God declares, I will forgive sinfulness and iniquities and I will remember them no more. I think the key there is, will not even remember. Think, friends, how memory works. Uh, it's good to remember things. Uh, if you don't remember them they, and they're negative, they might repeat themselves. But 
our memory is also such that if someone has done you wrong and you keep thinking about it, it's awfully hard to get past that, isn't it? If you just keep bringing it up again, as if the memory will, will, will trip you up in a relationship. <coughs> This is what I call, friends, uh, you know, the miracle of, of forgiveness from God's side. And here's my, uh, my hope for all of us. The next time you come to communion, there are some things that you will remember. The miracle of forgiveness from God's side is that God, as God, can say, I can treat you and love you as if it never happened. Completely gone. I don't remember it. Now, that's a miracle. So friends, I am very thankful for the great word, the inspired prophecy of Jeremiah. And I'm grateful to have had a chance to spend some time with you. Blessings on your continued work. Thank you very much. Thank you.